Here is the Raspberry 5 kit I have ordered, which contains the power supply, the fan, and of course the Raspberry Pi 5 itself. Here in Europe, I have the European power supply kit, which came with this type of outlet. Now, what's really interesting here, we have only one to two meters of cable, and I found it really short. Two meter will be, let's say, better, especially if you want to plug your Raspberry Pi on a table, something. Other than that, you could maybe find another alternative as an official one, but I wanted to be safe and go for this one, at least for my first Raspberry Pi 5 setup. Now, for the Pi itself, it comes in a box without any electrostatics back, so I was quite surprised of that. But frankly, yeah, I didn't run in any trouble when I pour it down, so I will pass on that. Besides this, I bought like the 8 gig, so yeah, maybe there is no uh, cosmetic change besides having a bigger chip. And as you can see, there is also sort of manual and a business card on how to place it. And other than that, uh, it's pretty empty as a bundle. Since the Pi 3 the system's temperature has been steadily increasing, that's why I was looking to get an active cooling solution. With the release of the latest version, the foundation introduced a heat sink with a fan. I opted to try it out, hoping it could become the next preferred choice among cooling systems. I'm currently waiting for casing alternatives that are compatible with this solution. I was surprised there are only three thermal pads. And I plan to order more, especially for the RAM chip. The installation went smoothly thanks to the push in pins. The fan only operates during high loads and it starts promptly during startup. I intend to run benchmarks. If you have any specific requests, please feel free to suggest them in the comments below. As for now, during idling and running a brief session of OpenRMA, aka the open source Quake 3 fork, I couldn't get the temperature to exceed 42 degrees Celsius in a 20 degrees Celsius ambient room.